Now, this is the first officer-involved shooting since the Knoxville Police Department completed their rollout of body-worn cameras. Yeah, now some people don't agree with the District Attorney General's decision waiting to release the body camera footage, and they don't agree with the reasoning as well. Right, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us in the studio now with this side. Kirsty, what D.A. Allen said today is not exactly what these people wanted to hear. No summer, but they all weren't surprised either. With the ability to see what happened from at least a few different cameras, even community leaders are saying releasing the video sooner rather than later will bring clarity and they hope justice. No justice, no peace. This was the aftermath of the 2019 shooting of Philly Feep, killed by an officer at a time where there were no body cameras. We're gonna keep fighting for God's truth. A similar message now, even with the body cameras available. This is really a time when that information can be very, very useful and very critical to understanding how this particular incident um, happened. Knoxville's Police Advisory and Review Committee Director Lakinia Middlebrook says in this case, the outdated policies aren't keeping up with the new technology. And without the visual proof, the rumors are getting worse. My concern is that uh, the longer this drags out without having um, a full picture, the, the more um, it creates division the more it creates distrust. Although the district attorney gave her reasoning today, saying the investigation needs to be completed fully and family needs to see the footage first, other community leaders did not want to hear any excuses. I did not want to watch it because unfortunately, uh, there is a continuous pattern, proven pattern uh, within this nation, uh, with even in this uh, city uh, that the process uh, has not worked for our community. Calvin Taylor Skinner says Knoxville needs to be the model city. It shouldn't be behind in the times. He believes transparency and accountability are at the foundation of a community and releasing body camera video is a building block. At the end of the day, justice would be brother Anthony Thompson Jr. still alive. So the least that can happen is accountability through transparency and being forthcoming. Skinner says the community needs to keep pushing for justice, whatever that may be. Now, we did also ask the park director about seeing all of these other cities release body cam video within days of an incident. She wanted to remind people we can't compare because every state, city, and county have different policies. But she does believe the video should be released sooner rather than later. Bo. All right, Kirsty, thank you. We'll, of course, continue to bring you updates on the deadly Austin East shooting as they come into our newsroom. If you want to go back, though, and revisit any of our stories with community and school leaders from this week, you can find them all on our WAT 6 on your side news app.